Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Vera and it's a new episode of my knitting podcast. Today I have two finished objects for you, two new customs and uh, one acquisition. But it's not yarn, it's something else. Um, let's start with the first finished object with, uh, which I'm wearing right now. It's my sweater number 15 by my favorite things knitwear. Um, yeah, here it is. It's finally done. It was a long time on my needles. Uh, I think I started it on the Christmas Eve and I finished it uh, on the 9th of February, I think, or 10th, something like that, somewhere around that time. So I really like it. It turned out great. I did not do any swatches for this project um, because I thought it's going to go well and it was. So usually I do swatches but for this sweater I did not feel the need. For some reason I thought my gauge will be perfect and it actually is perfect. So uh, I'm glad that I didn't do a swatch. But now I will do a swatch anyway because I am collecting uh, swatches for my um, swatch bag, I think. Uh, I don't remember the exact name, but there is a pattern on Ravelry, uh, Ravelry uh, like a bag made out of swatches um, and I'm planning to uh, knit or create this bag when I will have enough swatches. So I will probably do a swatch in this uh, pattern just for the bag. So uh, I'm really glad with the project, with the final, uh, with the result, how it looks on me. I already wore it today. It's uh, really nice. The yarn I used for this project was Sunday by Sunnesgarn, held together with a thin silk mohair, uh, also by Sunnesgarn in, uh, in this red color. Um, don't remember the exact name of the red because they don't have really names for the uh, colors, they have numbers, I don't remember the number, but uh, I don't think they have a lot of reds. Uh, so there are a couple of modifications I made. Uh, first of all, uh, I made the, I picked up the less stitches for the color than the pattern uh, suggested. Uh, I picked up 100 stitches um, and I think it looks good. It's not choking me, but also it's not too wide. Uh, I think it will uh, it will be even wider later on when I will wear it because usually all of my colors are stretching with time so I am thinking uh, to add an elastic um, right now to prevent it from stretching. Uh, I think I will do it after recording this video because it sits quite well so I don't want it to be in any wider than that. Uh, I also replaced half twisted rib uh, for all of the edges and the color with the full twisted rib. So it is all twisted here. And uh, the color as well. The color is double folded. I also did one more modification. I made the sleeves uh, just a little bit longer. So I added one cable repeat um, to, the, to the sleeve. So because I thought it was a bit short. Uh, what pattern called for so I added a one and I think I've heard a lot of people also uh, saying that uh, were saying that the sleeves were too short uh, in this pattern so um, I don't remember where I've heard it but uh, I think I've heard it several times um, so yeah I also uh, did that and uh, I quite like the length it's not very long it's not very short uh, now I want to talk about the pattern I think the pattern is not the most enjoyable pattern that I knitted so far uh, and the reason is because of the, the cables and how is it constructed I think because in some especially in the beginning when uh, you're just uh, knitting the front and back section uh, and joining it in the round for the body there is a lot of um, differences uh, in how uh, you need to count your cables. So, for example, in one section of the pattern you need to start with like a, a twisted row uh, where you twist for the cables um, and then continue to work the, the stitches uh, normally. And then in the other section of the pattern you twist, you're just knitting uh, X amount of rows and then the last row you're twisting the cables and it creates confusion so um, 
when I was knitting it, I noticed in one place, I think it was on my back, um, I miscalculated um, amount of rows in between the, the twisted rows and uh, my, um, some of my cables were shorter than the other ones. And if you're not paying too much attention, you can also make this mistake. And I think it's, uh, it's not the best um, pattern. It, it explains what you need to do uh, well. It's just you need to be very focused on what you're doing and count your rows, count, uh, read the pattern well, so you won't miss where you need to start a cable with the twist row or uh, where you need to end the cable with the twist row. So, yeah, that's what I didn't like about the pattern. Everything else was very uh, clear, so there was no um, confusion in any other parts uh, of the pattern. And um, it looks very well, so I'm really uh, glad. Um, we'll see how the yarn will hold, uh, if it's going to peel. Well, it, it has a mohair, so it probably won't peel so much, but uh, still, I'm curious. I'm uh, working with the Sunday for the first time. Uh, before that I was working only with double Sunday, which uh, I like. I know people don't really like double Sunday. I did not have any problems with that. And um, I'm curious to see how this one will hold. I really like the color of the sweater and I think it suits me. And I also uh, am taking part with uh, this sweater in the pomegranate uh, cal. And there is only two days uh, before this cal ends, so and I'm just in time with this sweater. So yeah, just one more uh, look at the sweater. Ah, yeah, my favorite part of the sweater it's this sleeve back uh, back shoulder detail cable that goes just across the whole shoulder. I think it's really nice. It looks very uh, neat and uh, almost like store bought and machine knit. So that's really nice uh, look. Okay, now let's move on to the second finished object. And it is my socks. Uh, these are Mountain Walk Chunky uh, by uh, Florence Miller, or I think handmade by Florence on Instagram. So yeah, they are also done. I already wore them uh, for a couple of weeks. They are holding very well. The yarn I used for the socks uh, is this one. It's a uh, Socky Fine by uh, Create with uh, Ad Libris. Uh, it's a super wash, 75% super wash and 25% polyamide. Uh, it's a sock yarn and um, I was planning to use one ball of this yarn for two socks. It's a fingering weight, so I held it double, but I, yeah, I ran out of yarn uh, and uh, I was forced to buy the second ball. So now I don't know what to do with it. So I will probably need more socks with this yarn, but it's quite nice. I really like it. It's, it's not the yarn that you can buy um, anywhere, I, except probably Sweden. Uh, because the Ad Adlibris it's a local uh, bookshop uh, and they carry their own yarn, yarn brands. But here are the socks, so I'll just keep one. Uh, it's, uh, it has a double rib, but one of the ribs is a twisted uh, cable. It's a mock cable, so it's not like a real cable. You don't need any uh, additional uh, needles, like cable needles. You're just uh, twisting um, them, twisting the stitches as you knit and it uh, speeds up the process so much because you don't need to have all of those additional uh, needles. Uh, the construction is quite uh, simple, just a normal uh, gusset and heel flap and my favorite, uh, I think the name is wedge toe, so I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it's the, the toe where you need to kitchener stitch the ends. Um, and uh, I learned this stitch um, when I was knitting my previous sock. It was also a DK sock and uh, that pattern uh, suggested to use this uh, type of um, toe. And now it's my favorite one. So now uh, I will use it for all of my socks because it looks so neat. I think this is the best looking toe so far. Uh, I tried three different constructions and uh, I like this one the, the most. 
I think Florence did a good job writing this pattern. It's very uh, clear, uh, understandable. Uh, it's quite short uh, pattern, but it's only for the sock. So if you already knitted uh, a sock before you won't have any problems uh, knitting this one so and I also really like the socks I wear them uh, in inside uh, in house so uh, I don't really like wearing DK socks outside because I don't feel comfortable wearing my shoes over this uh, uh, chunky socks but for like a home uh, sock it's perfect and uh, I am thinking of knitting more DK socks for myself in future maybe for next winter because I think right now it's already a bit too late for the DK socks or knitting them not wearing but knitting uh, and uh, soon I'm planning to knit my uh, my summery lacy socks uh, with some fun yarns uh, but yeah that was my second finished object mountain walk uh, chunky socks by Florence Miller so that was all of my finished objects and now let's move on to my new castons and works in progress I think I did not show you this project before and I was only talking about uh, plans uh, of making them so my first uh, work in progress is from this booklet it's a Sanders Garn tweed recycled uh, booklet um, I bought it together with the yarn uh, that I'm using right now for the project it's a uh, tweed recycled in this brown color and I am knitting uh, this sweater it's a Guernsey number no. 7 sweater uh, man I'm knitting the sweater for my husband I uh, really like it uh, it looks very nice uh, the yarn is very soft and uh, very nice to work with it's not scratchy at all it has a small percentage of cashmere in it uh, so it's 80% uh, extra fine wool and 20% of cashmere um, yeah really soft and here is my swatch uh, this time I did a swatch and it looks actually really good but um, for the first time I think I my swatch was too tight my gauge was too tight so uh, the pattern uh, calls for uh, four millimeter needles uh, and this is what I did with this swatch of so 4mm and uh, the gauge is supposed to be 21 stitch um, per 10 uh, centimeters. I have more, I think I have 24 stitches. So for the actual project I'll show it to you right now, I actually went up a needle size uh, and I am a bit concerned because it's the first time when I need to go up a needle size and not uh, to go down because usually I'm going down and um, I don't know maybe I became a tight knitter or maybe it's just the sun is garn is a bit uh, sun is garn's gauges are different from other um, patterns that I was doing before that uh, in the petite knit or in the my favorite things knitwear uh, patterns I am staying at the same um, needle size what pattern calls for usually for petite knit I went down needle size and here I went up so I'm using 4.5 millimeter needles and here is my progress so far so here it's a back panel so the sweater is very similar uh, to um, Ingrid or even storm sweater it has uh, different sections with different textures uh, and in between those sections you have this uh, garter stitch uh, uh, rows to separate them and uh, here is my uh, progress so far so the seed stitch uh, panel and then uh, these interlacing cables and here I already did some changes um, because in the pattern um, I don't know why they did that because I think mine my option looks better so in the pattern they have um, so if you can see this um, this cable goes uh, over the uh, this one and then it goes under uh, so they are interlacing uh, with each other uh, pattern suggests just to have like one uh, cable that goes over uh, those uh, other cables just across and 
I don't know how to explain it better, but I uh, hope you understand what I mean. And I don't, I don't mind it. It's not like it's a bad design, but for some reason I like this one better when they are actually interlacing with each other and uh, it looks more uh, natural, I think, for the cable to go uh, under and above another cable row. So uh, I think it looks a bit better. So what, what do you think? So here, as you can see, So here, as you can see, uh, this uh, cable goes just across all other cables uh, like above them and mine will just interlace with each other. Um, what do you think? Which one do you prefer? Because I like this one more. I don't know if there is uh, a reason for that, specific reason why they chose not to interlace them. Uh, maybe on the sleeve there will be some problems with that, but I don't know, I don't think so. Uh, we'll see, I guess, uh, when I'll start knitting the sleeve. And here is my gauge, so it's not that different from the, um, from the swatch. So I am happy, I think, so I think uh, I, there won't be any issues with like sizing or anything like that. So they are quite similar. Uh, there is no big difference. Uh, and this watch is already blocked, so it's also it did not grow uh, too much. So I'm also thinking that this one won't grow either. Uh, and this is a back panel, so and I measured it against uh, my husband's other sweaters and it looks quite well. So that is my first work in progress. Um, I am soon going to start working on the front, front uh, panels, um, so maybe next time you will, see the, you will see more of that. My second work in progress is this, this small little thing. Uh, I just started it yesterday. Uh, it is the honeycomb uh, clutch. I think it's a honeycomb clutch or maybe just a honey clutch uh, by Petit Knit. And with this one, it's actually kind of interesting. So I thought I wanted to knit it for a long time and now I finally uh, have time uh, because I finished my big project so, and I did not have anything except for the sweater. So I thought I will knit something uh, small and easy on the side. Uh, and it's not as easy as I, <laughs> I was thinking. Uh, so first of all, I did not realize that the honeycomb uh, pattern is the actual brioche. Uh, I, I did not know that a brioche uh, can be different because um, I thought that brioche is this um, ribbed looking texture, uh, but apparently not. Apparently brioche can, uh, be, uh, can also have different patterns. Um, but yeah, I never did brioche before and uh, I was not uh, I did not look into it too, too much, so uh, that was a big surprise for me. But uh, it's not a big deal for me, it's not a problem. Uh, it's actually a good thing because uh, if you've seen my knitting plans uh, for 2024, uh, I, was, uh, I told you that I want to knit this honey clutch and also I want to try a new technique, uh, which was brioche. So now I'm taking off two things uh, from that list <laughs> in one project. So um, I'm happy about that. But now uh, I looked at uh, YouTube tutorials for this honey clutch uh, from a person who's doing all of the petite knit uh, tutorials. And it's a bit scary <laughs> because she, she did a lot of um, slip stitches, uh, yarn overs uh, and then it, it's a bit too much so I stopped watching uh, tutorial uh, because I don't understand it right now. I will uh, watch it again when I uh, will actually need to start working on brioche. Right now I'm working a double knitted um, bottom of the, the clutch and it's also my first time when I'm doing uh, double knitting and it actually quite it looks quite good. I'm very happy uh, and pleased how it's turning out. Uh, my stitches are very neat, I think, if I would say so myself. So, um, really like it. But I did not expect it to take 
so much time. Uh, I also did not know that there is like a double knitting um, in this pattern. I thought it's going to be just a plain stocking net. Um, and it's it, plain stocking net will, uh, would be so fast to knit. This one takes twice as much time. As you all probably know, I did not know that. <laughs> well, now I know. Uh, so it's not going to be an easy uh, side project for me. It's also quite involved uh, project. And um, brioche um, is an uh, interesting technique that I wanted to try. And now I will, so soon. I think I am maybe third or maybe a bit less than half way before I will uh, finish the, the bottom part and uh, start working on the actual brioche. So probably next time you will see my attempt at doing brioche. Uh, and the yarns I'm using for this uh, project is um, these two balls. So the first one, uh, the mohair is a kid silk mohair from Drops uh, in the color 001, uh, I think 01. Uh, so it's this of white color. And uh, this yarn is a uh, Drops saffron um, in the color 64. I bought a lot of this yarn when I just started uh, to, to knit and um, at that time I was also very interested in uh, crocheting and uh, I crocheted uh, one um, top for myself uh, like a summer top uh, with the same yarn just in different color like a brown color uh, and uh, for some reason I bought a lot more uh, drops in this color I I don't think this color will suit me I think it's like too close for my skin tone so it won't Maybe if I'm tan it will look good. Right now I don't think it doesn't. Uh, I don't think it looks good on me right now. So uh, I have a lot of the yarn. I don't know what to do with it. So that's why I decided to use it for like the accessories. And uh, I think the fabric that I'm getting uh, out of this too, it looks actually quite good. Very like neutral, beige. Um, yeah, really like it. So now I have uh, now I have a plan for all of those yarns that they have. Uh, I'm also thinking if I will succeed, well, I will probably succeed, but who knows. If I will succeed with this brioche uh, honey clutch, uh, I will knit myself uh, a purse. I think there is also a purse. And there is also a wash bag, the honey wash bag. I just don't understand what's the difference between clutch and the wash bag, uh, except for the size. And um, I think it's quite, it, it can be quite easy to figure out how to add more stitches to the uh, clutch and uh, make a wash bag out of it, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, we'll see later. Um, yeah, but right now that's my progress on the Honey Clutch by Petit Knit. And that's everything I have uh, for my finished project and my uh, works in progress. Um, I but I have one acquisition that I want to show you. And like I said, it's not yarn. It is my new set of needles. Um, I was looking, I was planning to buy myself a new uh, needles for a long time. And I was going back and forth between, no, at first I wanted to buy myself uh, sea needs because everyone is talking about sea needs. It's very popular on uh, Instagram, on YouTube and uh, I have also a C needs uh, DPNs and I really like how they feel. Um, I bought them when I didn't even know that they are actually C need Koshitsu. I have a Koshitsu uh, DPNs. Um, I just I just needed the DPNs and I bought them and uh, only a couple of weeks ago I realized that they are actually C need Koshitsu needles, uh, which. Uh, Everyone is talking about them and uh, really liking them. Uh, and I like them too also. So I was planning to buy myself the set of the Sinit Koshitsu needles. But then I started uh, looking, uh, searching and um, I found this brand Lantern Moon. 
and it got me uh, really interested in it also so for a long time i was going back and forth between two different uh, like brands sets of needles which one i want to get uh, on the plus side for the c needs was that i already own the dpns i know the feeling uh, i like the feeling of those needles it's a bamboo needle who doesn't know um, on the minus of the c needs was that all of the cables uh, and everything, like the needles, were not uh, com compatible to my um, the needles that I own uh, right now. Well, except for this one. Before I got this one, uh, I was knitting with the Knit Pro needles. I think it's a Knitters Pride in the US. It's the same brand, just different name for different uh, markets. I think, um, and I I already own a lot of um, stuff from uh, Knit Pro, I own uh, the whole bamboo set with a lot of sizes. I uh, bought a lot of additional needles, uh, which I also really like. Um, I think I will film a separate video showing you all of my needles and then we'll go uh, deeper into uh, explaining what I like about or what I don't like about uh, Knit Pro needles. Uh, but yeah, the long story short, I. I did not like that C needs are not interchangeable with my uh, Knit Pro needles. Uh, and I realized when I found this um, brand, find out about this brand, uh, Lantern Moon, that they are actually uh, from the same, uh, well, not, it's not a brand, they are just made on the same uh, fabric as the Knit Pro, uh, and they can be interchangeable with my um, existing needles and they are so I already tried it I already used them and uh, I use the cables from uh, Knit Pro with the Lantern Moon needles I used Lantern Moon cables with the Knit Pro needles so it's all good it's uh, it's perfect the downside for this um, set was that I'd never uh, knitted. I never even uh, tried these uh, needles. I didn't have anywhere to just feel them in the store, for example, because we don't really have them in Sweden anywhere. You can only buy them online. So I ordered the, these needles online uh, as well. Uh, but I decided that the plus of just uh, having my old needles uh, and my new needles uh, inter using them interchangeably uh, one and I also uh, I also have seen a lot of uh, YouTube reviews on those needles and all of them were very positive so now I want to show you what I have inside this is how the, the set comes in this like a mesh uh, really pretty uh, bag and um, I already used it it's not a actual unboxing <laughs> I know what's inside I yeah, I'm already using them and quite liking them. And then here is the how the cover or the uh, the pouch looks. It's uh, it has a very good uh, pouch, and I use it all the time. And here how it looks inside. Um, the name of my set is a Glory, uh, and I have I think eight. Yeah, eight sizes of needles. So here, as you can see, one is missing because I am using it for the uh, Guernsey sweater right now. And um, here are the needles. They are really, really beautiful, uh, very good um, craftsmanship on these needles. Uh, it, they are made out of the ebony wood, so they are wooden needles, not, um, not bamboo, uh, which I actually prefer except for the sinits uh, which i really like uh sinit koshitsu to be uh, exact uh, i prefer wooden needles over the bamboo needles so i have um, eight sizes like i said uh from from number from three millimeter through um eight millimeter that's the the biggest one in this set uh there was a set with even more uh, needles i think either 10 or 12 uh, but i did not need that because um, 
First of all, I never tried it, so I was afraid of buying a lot of needles at once. And the second, uh, I don't really use a big needles right now, so these are uh, just um, good to have, but not necessary. Uh, also, the set comes with three cables, and the cables are actually uh, also what sold me uh, on this set. They are uh, stainless steel inside, and it's covered in this, um, I don't know, like some kind of um, latex, maybe, I don't know. So the, the stainless, stainless steel cord, uh, people uh, say that the cords are uh, the same as in Chagu needle, I, needles, I'd never used uh, those needles, uh, but uh, on the photos it looks exactly the same. Uh, and it also the swivel cord, so it uh, turns here. Uh, that what uh, what I really liked because sometimes my cords become uh, all twisted and uh, I need to untwist them inside like a sleeve. For example, this won't do that. I don't really remember the sizes of the cords, but if you're interested in this uh, set, you can have a look on the on their website or somewhere on the internet and find out for yourself uh, and also they can they sell uh, cords separately as well as the needles and uh, everything else a lot more um, there is also I think four of the like uh, stoppers for the cables they are also, they look very nice, it's like a uh, wood. Um, and also these uh, keys to um, tighten the, the needle on the cord. I really like how they look, They're, they look very like polished, very nice. So I use them now, I don't really use those like a, a tiny metal things uh, from the Knit Pro. I use these ones now, I really like them. And also, uh, I think there are a couple of markers, stitch markers. Uh, they all have different color and made out of, out of silk. Uh, so I have four, I think there is one more. There, I think there is five of them, yeah, there is one more. So really nice colors also, I really like them. They are very nice to touch. Uh, and that's the whole set. Um, yeah, really pleased with the needles. Uh, they are really enjoyable to, to knit with. So that's it. That was everything I have for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I hope you enjoyed watching my uh, works in progress let me know what do you think about my finished objects the sweater the socks do you like them do you want to knit uh, any of these patterns uh, i would be interested to know also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of uh, my um, knitting journey and uh, what will happen with the brioche <laughs> and how I will uh, tackle it. So if you're interested in that, yeah, please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.